Hello everyone, this is Elijah with the Rideshare Guy, and in this video, we're going to be doing a tutorial of the Instacart Shopper app, and we're also going to show you how to get groceries delivered to your home. For those of y'all that don't know, Instacart is a service that you can use to either have groceries delivered, or you can use them to kind of do your grocery shopping ahead of time, and then go pick your groceries up. We're going to get into how to do that, as well as a tutorial of the overall Shopper app. Keep in mind that this is a tutorial of the Instacart customer app. They do have an Instacart shopper app, and that's for if you want to make money with Instacart actually delivering groceries. If you want to know more about that, you want to check out our Instacart shopper tutorial. That's linked in the description, in the pinned comment, and also in the card right now. In addition to this, I should mention that you can place an order on the computer as well, but we'll just be showing the app experience over the phone, since they're more or less the same as far as where to go to place certain things. So with that being said, let's dive into the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do to get started is you'll want to make an account with Instacart first. So click on the link in the description or in the pinned comment, and this will lead you to a place to where you can create your Instacart account. And you'll also get a discount on your first delivery with Instacart by using our affiliate link. Once you've clicked on that link, it will take you to where you need to download the Instacart app. Whether it be iPhone or Android, the link will take you where you need to go. While you're making an Instacart account, keep in mind that you'll need an email address, you'll need to think of a password, and you'll also need a phone number that you're going to give them. Once you've created your Instacart account, we can move on to the next step. Now that your account is made, you're going to be on a screen similar to this. Yours will look a little bit different if you've never ordered with Instacart before, because you don't have an established store that you usually order from. What you're going to see on this page here is you're going to see either a list of stores in your area which you can pick to get deliveries from, or you'll see a search bar which you can type in like your local Sprouts or Kroger, etc. that you can use to get groceries delivered from. With that being said, you want to go ahead and pick what store you want groceries delivered from, whether it be Kroger's or Tom Thumb or Sprouts, etc. I'm going to go ahead and pick my store, which is going to be Sprouts. Now that I've picked the store, I can now start selecting items that I want delivered. But before we get to that, let's go over a brief tutorial of the icons you see on the screen. The shop tab is just like it sounds like. It lets you shop for certain items. Now the items that appear on this tab are usually the items that Instacart is recommending or if there's some kind of sale going on. But most of the time, if you've used the service before, they actually put the items which you order the most frequently on the shop tab, which is pretty convenient. If we click on the explore tab, this is the tab that you can use to search for a particular product that you want from uh, your store. So for instance, if I wanted a certain brand of uh, toothpaste, I could type it in the search bar. Let's say I wanted some uh, green apples. I'll just type in apples. And then you see various items popping up like the Granny Smith apples. Let me click on Granny Smith apples. Then the item appears and I have the option to add it to the cart. The way you add something to the cart is you press the plus icon right next to the picture. So I'm gonna press the plus icon and then you can pick whether you want this item to be measured by uh, each item, like each item costs a certain amount, or if you want it to be measured by pounds. So I'm going to go ahead and select item. Let's say I want three apples. And now that item has been added to my cart. In the top right hand corner, you're going to see this little thing that looks like a wine glass. That's actually a filter. So if you want the filter based on certain brands, certain departments, and nutrition, then you can do that by clicking on one of these. So you see the various filters like produce, bath and uh, body care, bulk. These are the filters that you can place on your search so that you don't get bombarded with like a bunch of results. I don't need to do that right now, but that's good to know. So we're gonna exit out of this, press the back button, and we're gonna click on the savings tab. The savings tab shows what kind of deals are going on at the time. So like this is 50 cent off or 75% off or this is two for one. You'll see most of those deals on the savings page. So let's look at some of the deals. 50 cent off, $1.80 off. So you see these deals that are appearing on the savings tab. Next, we're going to click on the your items tab. The first time you order, there's not going to be anything here. But once you order just once from Instacart, the Instacart algorithm is going to know exactly what you order. So when you click on your items, it's going to pick all these items that you've ordered before. It's going to give you like a little menu that you can kind of like do a quick select from. So like this is full of items which I've already ordered before. And this is from multiple orders. It's not just like taking your previous order and doing that. This is 
like let's say you've ordered 10 times on Instacart, it's gonna show items from all those 10 times. So it's kind of like making your own little store in a way. Next, we're gonna piggyback to the shopping tab. And from here, you'll need to update your address if you haven't done so already. So there's a pencil icon right under the delivery button. You wanna click that. And this allows you to edit your address. And it also allows you to add a note for your shopper if you have something they uh, wanna do as far as the uh, drop off. So for instance, let's say if you just wanna have your groceries delivered and you want them to leave it on the front porch, like on a chair or something, you can put those in the notes right here. So when you add a new address, you can add a little note right next to it if you so desire. And while we're on that topic, we're gonna press the back button, get back to where we were. Now, if for some reason you wanna to switch to picking up your groceries, then you wanna click the pickup button next to delivery. So when you click the pickup button, this switches the app to pick up. Everything remains the same except for instead of having the groceries delivered, you have to go pick it up. They're basically just getting it together for you, then you go pick them up. But we're gonna focus on the delivery experience for this video. So we're gonna click back to delivery. With the items you see on this page, just like when you search them and explore, if you wanna add any of the items at any point, you can just press the plus icon and then you can add them to your cart. And speaking of cart, the little basket icon in the top right hand corner is your cart. So you can click on that to view what you've already added. And if you wanna add more, you can do so. Now for the sake of both of our attention spans, I'm not gonna do all my grocery shopping here. I'm gonna go ahead and do it and we're gonna come back to when I'm finished, so stay tuned. So when you finish doing all your shopping, you wanna go ahead and click on that cart button so you can move to checkout. On this screen, you can see all the items that you've selected and then you can remove any or leave little instructions for your shopper as you see fit. If you wanna remove an item, you can press the little trash can icon right next to the item. If you have instructions on the item that you wanna tell your shopper, you can click on the instructions button and you can leave it for that item. Where this comes into play is, let's say if the store is out of a particular item, you can tell the shopper within that item, like, hey, I want this to be refunded, or hey, if they're out of this, can you replace it with this? You can leave that in the instructions and the shopper will know to do that and they won't have to contact you while they're actually doing the shopping, which is pretty convenient for everyone. On this screen, you can update the quantity too. So if you have one of an item and you would like to have three or four, then you can update it so that you can add those items to your cart. The same applies for if you wanna subtract items. So with all that covered, I'm ready to go to checkout. So I'm gonna click on go to checkout and we're now taken to the payment screen. On this screen, you can pick exactly when you want the delivery to happen. You can schedule the delivery ahead of time, a few days ahead of time if you want to, or you can have it delivered within a certain time frame on the same day. The time frames vary, but usually they can get you the order within two hours, so that's usually the one that I select. The tab where it says delivery instructions is yet another place that you can leave instructions for your shopper. And this time around, they have an option where you can have checked leave at the door if I'm not around. Now keep in mind that by checking that marker, you're basically agreeing that, hey, it's okay to leave these uh, groceries wherever you want them to leave it. And if anything happens, Instacart isn't responsible. So you wanna keep in mind that if you're gonna do this, keep an eye on when your shopper delivers and as soon as they deliver, go ahead and get your groceries. You don't want them to sit in there for an extended period of time. After this, you should already have your phone number inputted, but if you wanna change it for some reason, you can click on that phone tab and the payment tab is a place where you can enter your debit card information for payment, and you can also pay using Google Pay. They may add more payment options in the future, but for the moment, these are the uh, options that you have available. The last tab lets you review all the items that you have, and if you wanna make any quick adjustments like change the quantity, add items, or subtract items. Right underneath the items is a place where you can leave a tip for your shopper. Instacart uses a percentage-based uh, tipping platform, but you can also add a custom tip by clicking on custom when you choose to change the tip. To do this, you just have to click other amount and then type in what other amount that you wanna put in, like you know, $10, et cetera. Tips are greatly appreciated by shoppers and they go a long way towards helping shoppers maintain their financial status so they can keep delivering for Instacart or shopping for Instacart. If you have some kind of promo code that you can use with Instacart, you wanna click on add promo code and add that code there to get whatever discount that's going on at the time. With all that being done, we're gonna go ahead and place the order. It's asking to verify all those items, which I'm doing. Click place order, and the order has been placed. After the order has been placed, it'll probably be 30 minutes to an hour before the shopping actually begins. 
So you can edit your items before shopping begins. So if you forgot something or you want to add something, you can follow the steps that we mentioned earlier in this tutorial to make the adjustments to your card. And those changes will be added to your card. After about 30 minutes to an hour of placing your order, it'll be assigned to an Instacart shopper unless you scheduled it in case it'll be assigned to a shopper when uh, that day actually arrives. But once it's assigned to a shopper, you'll see this screen and when they arrive at the store, they're gonna begin shopping for your items. If any issues arise with your order, your Instacart shopper may attempt to contact you, so it's a good practice to stay near your phone at this time. If the store is out of a particular item that you want, the Instacart shopper will do one of two things. They'll either refund that order or they'll try and replace that order. In both instances, the app will notify you that this is happening, but you'll need to approve it first. So when that happens, you need to let the system know if you want that item refunded, meaning that you won't be charged for the cost of that item, or if you want it replaced with something. And if you want a replacement, it's gonna show similar items to the item that you can't get that you can use to replace it. Once the shopping is done, you won't be able to tell your shopper anything else as far as uh, getting items in the store because they'll be heading back to their car and they'll be heading your way. Once they start heading your way, you can keep track of where they are on your map by looking at the map screen in your app. This is a place where if you forgot to put information that your shopper is going to need like uh, the gate code to your apartment complex or apartment building or the name of your apartments, it's a good practice to text them this information. Another place you can put this information is in the delivery instructions that we covered before. But if uh, you didn't put it there, the next best thing is to go ahead and text the information on this screen. Once your Instacart shopper is about half a mile away, the app will let you know that they're close by and you should get ready to get your groceries. Once the shopper has dropped off the groceries, then the order has been completed and you can now rate your experience with Instacart. When rating your shopper, you want to keep in mind that these ratings play a huge role in them being able to stay on the platform. So just take that in consideration when rating your shopper. Now that that's done, let's briefly go over the account settings in the Instacart app. So we're gonna go back to home from this screen and we're gonna click the little person icon in the top left hand corner. Here you can make adjustments to your profile and you can also invite your friends and family to get a discount with Instacart if they've never used it and you can get a discount for yourself. The your orders tab is a place where Instacart keeps track of all your orders. And if you want to, you can actually just recreate that order instantly just by clicking on the add all to cart. And this is useful for if you're someone who gets a lot of the same items in a particular grocery session, which is I think pretty much all of us. The Instacart Express option is a service Instacart offers where there's no delivery fee. Say $7 per order, reduce service fees, and look for the Instacart Express badge. I haven't personally tried this, but uh, they have a tab for it, so maybe it's worth looking into. The Refer Friends tab is a place to where you can invite others to use Instacart, and both of y'all can get a discount. You just click on Find Contacts if you want to invite someone in your phone, or you can copy the link directly and share that with someone, and you can both get a discount. They'll get a discount on the first order, and you'll get a discount on your next order you place with Instacart. If you have a promo code for Instacart, you can add that code by clicking on add promo code and clicking on your account settings lets you update account information, personal information, your theme, your addresses, payment methods, and lets you manage notifications that you'll receive from Instacart. And closing out, if you wanna just quickly update your address, you can do it very quickly just by clicking on your name and your address will be right below your name, there'll be an arrow, click on that and you can quickly edit the information as far as your address, as well as the instructions for your shopper. And there we have it. We've done a tutorial of the Instacart customer app, and we've also showed you how to order groceries using Instacart. That does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. If you wanna consider being an Instacart shopper, I highly recommend you check out our Instacart shopper tutorial, where we show you how to complete a batch using Instacart. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. It's very much appreciated. Helps with the YouTube algorithm. And subscribe if you're new and hit that bell icon. We publish new videos and tutorials every single week. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below or shoot us an email. That does it for this video. I will catch you in the next one. Be safe and profitable, everyone.